Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to add the smoke trail uh, using particles. Uh, so in the last video, we arranged the timing of all of the animations. We uh, adjusted the timing for the rocket, for the stars, and then for the letters. And then we added some effects like the glow, like drop shadows. Um, and so we're done basically with all the animation, some of the special effects, and now we get to put the particles, which is the smoke trail. And we will render this out to a uh, movie file. So I'm gonna stop this, I'm gonna pause this, and uh, figure out what we need. So I am going to add, add, a cylinder and I'm not gonna make it too wild just very very simple uh, and as I select this here's my cylinder <clears throat> um, I am going to move it I'm going to move it uh, move I'm gonna move it to about the center and I'm going to rotate it R Y 90 and I'm going to scale it s to scale about like that and let's scale it again about like that there well, what I'm trying to do is get some sort of um, emitter that will emit some particles out. And I'm trying to come up with a shape that will lend itself uh, for emitting particles and then having them trail off. So I've got my cylinder. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit save. And I selected this cylinder. I'm going to go to particles and create a new particle system. Boom, there it is. I'm gonna hit play. I am going to hide the rocket ship just so that it's not uh, visible. I'm gonna hit play and we've got some particles here. Good. Um, the next thing is to control these particles. I'm going to scroll this thing up and I'm using my uh, emitter and so let's visit the velocity and physics and the field weights. So let's look at the field weights first. We know that gravity, it's falling down. <clears throat> so if we take the gravity off, let's see what happens. Uh, hit play. And so the, they're starting to just float this way, that way, and, and this way. I'm okay with that. And in the velocity, let's uh, turn off the normal, boom. So now they're not floating away, they're just getting generated right there. Uh, let's now turn on the flow to the X sideways. And so if we do X, oh remember, it is this X because we rotated it and so let's turn that off let's go back to zero and so we want to do this on the Z negative Z there we go now they're moving in the right direction but I don't I just don't want them that fast so let's do negative two good Let's uh, now size them, viewport display, and let's go ahead and size this. Uh, let's hide the emitter in the render view, show emitter, and the size. There we go. This is in the viewport. Now, this is going good. Now let's fix how much of it we have. Uh, I think that's too many 
that's a that's at a thousand let's lower it to 500 and let's lower the life of it so that it ends about right there so right now the life of the, the lifetime of the particles is at 50 let's lower it to 30 see what that happens and now you can see that they're ending right about there which I like now before I continue I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna pause it and I am going to add an object a UV sphere here it is uh, let's do this at 24 and let's leave this at 12 and so let's go ahead and get this ball and we're going to use this ball in fact let's move it over here so we can see it we're going to use this ball to replace all of the particles so let's shade it let's create a material and just so we can see the difference check this out uh, i'm just going to color it red boom there we go it's red oh right click smooth uh, shade smooth boom and uh, I'm just gonna keep it red <clears throat> there it is red and go back to my particles render render as object and then what is that object click the little eyedropper and click this one so now we see the object and now let's go check again um, viewport and render render and viewport so <clears throat> scale let's scale it down to about yeah, let's scale it down to about right there and scale randomness uh, we want some small ones we want some big ones <clears throat> and let's hit play and see what that looks like all right I'm cool with that I like it um, let's also add a little bit of I, I don't like that these are sticking to each other so let's add a little bit of let's go back here to um, velocity and I'm, I'm gonna start to randomize now we get to see it's a little too much a little too much 0.7 let's go about 0.4 now we get to see a little bit of a random nature they're all they're all moving about let's change that this to white uh, and let's give it a emission emission of white let's make them glow And then the base color, let's make that darker. With an emission strength. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'll add about two. And so if we bring back the rocket ship, we just need to adjust some things uh, and make sure that all of these particles are coming out the back. Uh, and I think I may want, I may even want the, the particle, the cylinder, just a little tiny smaller. I'm gonna save here before uh, I get a crash. And I'm gonna make it just a little smaller. All right, I want this stuff to come out from here so let's hit the play button see what that looks like and I'm looking at this and I like it I like it now the only thing we have to do is move this cylinder right click and move it to this collection click on the cylinder and then shift click or uh, command click on the body and then hit command P and then keep transformation. So now it should be 
parent it to the body. There it is. Awesome. And let's uh, go ahead and, and uh, this fear, let's uh, hide it. Hide it, make it unselectable. If we look at this like this, we could move the body I'm going to go to frame 30. I'm going to turn on auto key and we could move this body out in front of all the particles and see what that did. Okay. We're going to have to bring in the graph editor. Go back to frame 1 and also move it out. Okay, let's look at the Y location. Um, so what we're going to do is go like this and then remove these two keyframes, delete. And so it starts out here, goes out here and stays out here. I'm gonna remove this keyframe as well, delete. So we have basically just the spaceship staying there. Good. You can see that it's throwing smoke everywhere. So we're going to adjust the, the cylinder. We're going to adjust it. It has no keyframes. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to push it back until it's uh, behind the spaceship. So I'm going to hit Y. I mean, I'm going to hit 0 and hit play. There we go. There we go. It's staying behind the ship. There we go. Good. Good. And then now the one problem is the flame now. The flame, I am going to select it. And again, let's let's see what uh, what is what is being animated. I don't think anything is being animated on the flame. Let's delete that keyframe. And so the flame should be behind the cylinder. So I am going to push it about right there. Let's look at what that looks like. Um, I'm going to hit zero here on my numpad. I think I need to push it a little bit further back. Just a little further back. I also don't want to push it so far that it goes behind the background. Zero. And let's hit play again. I can see a little bit of the flame. I like it. I can see mostly smoke. Boom, there it is. And there we have it, guys. Um, I am going to maybe adjust it a little bit further by maybe pushing the cylinder, which is the smoke trail, forward just a little bit. When it comes in, there we go. There we go, oops. I pushed it over a little bit too far. Right there. And then this. Just a little bit more right there. All right, just minor tweaks. Hit play. Boom, we got it. Uh, the only other thing we're going to do is select the particles. 
I'll actually select the sphere and the base color I'm just gonna make it a little brighter right there just tweaking the uh, the way this looks uh, and we're done guys um, let me go ahead and play it one more time make sure that it make sure that it plays correctly and we're done all right cool the last last thing we need to do is render this I'm gonna save it and then go to the let's go to the uh, output properties I am going to render it at 1920 by 1080 100 percent from 1 to 200 at 24 frames per second click on this and save it spaceship on my desktop except there it is and render an FFmpeg video encoding I'm going to pick MPEG-4, um, the video codec H.264, with everything I'm going to leave the same, no audio, and I think we've got everything. We're going to use uh, Eevee, so it should go fast. Again, I'm going to save all this, save it. All right, we need to do something else we need to hide the stuff that we left here do a little bit of cleanup uh, open up this filter thing and turn on the disable in renders option and we are going to turn off rendering for the sketch and we are going to turn off rendering for this text and for the sphere and render just one frame see what it looks like uh, and it looks good uh, we don't get the sphere we don't get the sketch we don't get the actual text awesome let's go ahead and render it uh, for good now one more check of the render uh, output settings 1920 by 1080 1 through 200 24 frames per second FFmpeg video it's on the desktop uh, mpeg4 h.264 everything looks good let's go ahead and hit render render animation and as it renders guys I will speed this up and see you on the other side thank you Cool, it's done. Here's our animation. Hit play, and everything works. Awesome. Hey guys, this has been a, a wonderful experience for me to teach you how to do all this stuff. I know it's it was long, uh, seven videos. I try to keep them as short as possible, and I hope that you've enjoyed the, the process along with me. And if you like the video, guys, go ahead and, and uh, hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.